Nathan, thank you. I'm Dawn Scott, live in my home. Welcome as I social distance here during this time of coronavirus. Cases climbed again, and we reached a new grim milestone in the number of people who've died from COVID-19 in Arkansas. But I want to share that there are questions about the data and all the numbers that we receive every day from the health department and state officials. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt tried to get some answers at Governor Asa Hutchinson's weekly press briefing. Even though some doubt has started to creep into the data used to make guidance and directives, the governor and the health department remain focused on rolling out the vaccine, though they do admit that those doubts do point to how far we still have to go, even though those vaccines are starting to roll out. We want more data, we want more accurate data, we'd like to have more timely data. Add that to the governor's Christmas wish list. But as the November surge has shown, getting the data exactly right is tough when it comes in so fast. You know, we are seeing an increased number of cases. Uh, it is uh, taking a little bit longer for our case investigators to do their, their investigation. That lag means clusters like the one that developed in the kitchen of Trio's restaurant in Little Rock are falling through the cracks. The owner closed the place, but it's not clear if the fact that it happened in a restaurant affected any of the stats that inform guidance over capacity. Health department leaders say they're comfortable with what they know. Each contact tracer can only handle so many cases each day. Do I think the data is robust enough to act on? Yes, I do. I do not believe that we are missing large clusters. Other trends raise questions like the sudden spike in the number of deaths probably caused by COVID rather than confirmed by a PCR test. Here they say it's because antigen testing is just so popular now. As you can see, uh, the number of antigen tests are going up dramatically. And so I think it's mirroring uh, the fact that we're doing more antigen testing and so we're having uh, more deaths associated with the uh, antigen test. The bottom line, guidance won't be changing, especially now that there may be a solution on the horizon. This is a massive distribution effort. Uh, it's a lot of logistics. Uh, it worked well yesterday, but we have to make it work every day. In Little Rock, Rolly Hoyt, THV 11 News. Okay, we got to win also at the Capitol, the governor's request uh, to have, uh, excuse me for one moment, the governor's request to have lawmakers sign off on his next emergency declaration, well, it will not happen. House Speaker Matthew Shepard says it's too close to the regular session next month. And during the news conference, the governor said the move would not change his ability to extend his emergency powers. Meanwhile, the holidays are quickly approaching and we're still seeing a surge in new COVID-19 cases. In the last 24 hours, 2,141 Arkansans tested positive for the virus. And if you look closely at THV-11's chart, you'll notice jumps like today's are becoming more and more common. Since the middle of November, we've seen 15 days where our cases surpassed 2,000. And moving on to hospitalizations, you'll see that number went up again today. Day. 20 more people admitted to the hospital with COVID-19, bringing our current total to 1,070. As for our deaths, 26 more Arkansans lost their battle with the virus since yesterday, brings the state's COVID-19 death toll to 3,016. And you can learn more about today's COVID-19 update and hear from the governor and Dr. Jose Romero about the ongoing vaccine rollout on THV11.com. Just text the word FACTS to 501-376-1111 and we'll send you a link to our updated article. Marlisa, for now, we'll send things back to you and I'll see you all at 6.30 tonight. Thanks so much, Dawn. Several Arkansas hospitals received their first shipment of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine today. Baptist Health Medical Center in Little Rock received 1,950 doses and started giving them out this afternoon to employees and caregivers who work in COVID units and support departments. The Arkansas Department of Health also delivered 2,000 doses to UAMS, where critical health care employees who are most at risk for catching the virus were vaccinated. Nationally, the government plans to deliver 2.9 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine to 636 locations across the country this week. Meanwhile, an FDA panel declared the Moderna vaccine safe and effective. A panel of outside experts will offer their recommendations on Thursday. An emergency authorization for use of the vaccine could come as early as Friday. And if that happens, distribution could begin as soon as next week.